Hey now, Mike Shim here, and today I'm going to be reviewing WP Forms. WP Forms is a WordPress form plugin that you can use on your WordPress website. So I've already done a few other uh, form builder reviews, so I just wanted to see what this one has to offer here. And it actually looks like a really decent form plugin from the time I have been using it. So it, I have it installed on a few sites already, and I've gone through it and, and kind of just looked over some of the features and used them a little bit and seen if they work and make sure they work and, and seen what it does. But here's some of the features that WP Forms offers, drag and drop form builder, form templates, mobile friendly, conditional logic, notifications, management, payments, marketing and subscriptions, easy to embed and spam protection. But from using this on my own experiences, this is a definitely a uh, plugin that you can use and be confident in on your website. So let's get into some of those things that the WP Forms does and we'll get to the pricing in just a minute and all the licenses and stuff. But I'm in the back end of my website right now and I've been installed it on my on my website here and one thing is you just want to verify your uh, license key here and click verify make sure it's all verified that way you can get automatic downloads that, I can, that I'm going to show you about in just a moment if you do have your key in there and it's verified and you're not getting the downloads just click it again and click verify uh, right now I'm on the pro level and like I said we'll go over the pricing in just a little bit here uh, but this is the main interface here under settings WP forms you can choose how you want your styling there GDPR enhancements I know that's big for a lot of people there let's go to our email here I like the interface here the interface is nice and clean it has uh, you know you can read it nice and easily one of the cool things that it has is this uh, HTML template or the plain text for for your emails you can add a header image and background color you don't have to do the carbon copy of course they have the captcha now the captcha only works when you have the site key all right and a uh, secret key if you want that you need to sign up for the captcha program and they'll have a walkthrough right here there is a lot of spam the bots are getting better now so uh you probably want to have the captcha on your a uh, on your uh, forms the validation is just basically where you can edit validation messages. So, you know, like this field's required, please enter a valid URL. So you can make it whatever you want if you want to make it, um, you know, more personalized about your style, about the way you talk. Um, you, you can do that right here, which is, this is a pretty cool feature that they have right here, the validation. Now, one of the cool things it does is it does accept payments. And I'm going to go through all the add-ons in just a minute with you um the payments right here in us dollar all right and you can select your currency uh here are some of the integrations you have constant contact get response active campaign aweber campaign monitor drip mailchimp salesforce send and blue and zapier now there are a few more that aren't on here but just for back here and if you want to activate one of these you can just go and click it and install and activate all right the plugin has been installed and activated and i'm just going to go to refresh page now it should be colored up in just a second here and there it goes so now my aweber integration is ready to go so that's a the integrations and there's also an add-ons tab right here and we're going to go to that in just a second all right the geolocation if you have a google places api or a golia places api you can use that with one of their integrations they have with maps all right but again you need to have the api in order for that to work out the way it does all right access this is like if you have uh, multiple people working on your website you only want certain people to view forms edit forms delete forms or view forms you can set up that role right here all right and then miscellaneous all right just some basic stuff hide announcements hide menu bar uninstall and disable email summaries there let's go ahead and go to the add-ons now this is going to vary depending on your uh price point and your plan all right, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. Here's some of the add-ons. All right, and these are pretty easy to install. I just installed and activated the forms template pack add-on. I want you guys to, to see what that is when we go to make the forms here in just a minute. But you can also see it's um, a lot of stuff. Form locker, okay, that's pretty cool. I have the get response activated. If you need an email account, email marketing, uh, get response is a great, um, email marketing service that I use so and, and it's really affordable for uh, anybody who wants to start an email list so you can get started under 15 bucks actually there's a 30 day free trial uh, on the link below if you want to get started with that but it's only about 15 bucks a month after that less than that I believe uh, the stripe add-on the stripe add-on for payments and paypal uh, add-on for payments and we'll just go here for the signature add-on go install add-on and we'll take a look at that on a form in just a moment here okay the post submissions add-on which is a uh, pretty cool last front-end post submissions okay and then zapier zapier is a really cool one they have you 
they have a lot of functions that you can do with Zapier here. All right, and then let's go here. These are, uh, like I said, I'm at the pro level and there's one more level above me. If I wanted to upgrade, I can upgrade and get these four plugins. Active Campaign, Authorized, Salesforce, and Webhooks. Webhooks is gonna be a really uh, great plugin to use if you're doing a lot of developing, but Webhooks is pretty cool there. All right, Analytics, you can set up Analytics with a third-party plugin. All right, and there's the plugin right there. Same thing with SMTP. All right, it just works well with these plugins. That's what it's telling you about. All right, let's go to tools. All right, here you can import and export other forms, which this is a pretty valuable tool to have, is that, you know, you can make one form and maybe you're doing an application form and you need to use it on a bunch of different sites for whatever reason. This is where you can import them and export your other forms. So we got the import, export. All right, the system info logs. All right, now let's go ahead and go to making a form. So I'm just gonna to go to all forms here. I'm just gonna to go to add new. All right, so here they have a couple simple templates, blank form, simple, request, newsletter billing, donation, suggestion form. So actually, since we have the pro level, we actually unlock these other 100 templates right here. So auction item registration. So I mean, you know, who knows if any of these apply to you or not. Church membership form, that one's pretty cool. Donation form for a church. Uh, churches are big on websites. So I mean, you know, there's a lot of uh, church websites out there. Health insurance quote, Girl Scout cookie order form for all the Girl Scouts out there. The Samoas, shout out to the Samoas, awesome cookies. All right, and you know, you can just see all the different forms they have here. Take out order form, that one might be pretty valuable right now. So Super Bowl party RSVP form, Tampa. Let's go Tampa Bay, baby. All right, so you can see all the different forms. Their webinar registration form, wow, that's a cool one. Let's just, um, let, let's go up here and we'll make our own form. I can show you some of these, um, I'm just gonna do my, uh, Let's do my shaman because I don't know if my .com form is still there or not, and I want to differentiate these. All right, create a blank form. All right, so here's the back end of the form, and this is where you build your format. And here's all their different options. So there are different fields, okay? And you can see these gray ones out. We haven't got those yet. Let's go ahead and click to see if we can download this one the Linkert scale, yep. All right, and that's pretty cool that you can download it right here. You don't even have to go anywhere. You can download it right here in the back of the form. You don't have to save and, um, or you don't have to click out and go to somewhere else to, to, to do it. All right, now you can just drag and drop. Okay, let's just do single line text. Actually, let's do, where's the name? Let's do name. Let's do email. Let's do phone number. Do we have a phone number somewhere? I know we have a phone number, yep, phone number. Okay, you can see the different ones here as a multiple choice and check boxes. Ooh, let's see how the drop down looks, okay? All right, the drop down there. Now, one of the things you can do with this is that if you click on this, then it brings you to the field options where you can edit this field. So like here, you can just go like full name if you want it or you know, whatever the label you want it to be. Um, you can change the format here. If you want the middle initial in there, simple is just one line. Okay, first and last. Uh, if you want the description, which goes right there on the bottom. All right, then advanced options. This is where you can change the field size. See how this doesn't go all the way over to the end here. What you can do is just go to large and then it'll make it full width, all right? You can also hide the label, hide the sub labels, and then you can put in your uh, placeholder here if you wanted to. Make it kind of sleek. Or first, uh, last, and you have the labels. All right, and then one other thing you can do here is um, is conditional logic. All right, so that's like if then. So you know, if my name is Mike, show the email field, something like that. Um, okay, I don't need the conditional logic there. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you was uh, under CSS classes here, it has show layouts, okay? Now, this is kind of the old school way to do some layouts here, but if you show layouts, all right, and it has these layouts right here for you that you can do with the form. Now, what that means is that, so I'm on name here, and if I want to do a 50-50 column, I just do this. I choose the column I want and then it spits out the CSS class for me, okay? So now this is gonna be on the left side of my form. All right, now let's go to this one right here, my email form, and I'm gonna to go to advanced options. I'm gonna make this a large field, 
and then I'm gonna go to show layouts and then I'm gonna click this one and I'm gonna choose the right side all right so now this email will be on the right side of this one here now it won't show up back here on the back end but it will show up on the front end and I'll, and I'll take you to that in just a second here we'll do the same thing with phone so I'm just gonna to go to advanced options I'm gonna make this large so it fills the whole space I'm gonna to go to show layouts and then I'm gonna choose the small one and the bigger one there so I'm gonna choose the small one all right now let's go to the drop down and we're going to go to advanced options it's going to be a large size and then let's go to layouts and it's going to be on this side okay and then just like these other ones you can also do these ones if you wanted to uh three columns but we'll just do that for now we'll save now let's go to embed and see our form and uh action here i'm just going to go to an existing page and actually, I think I have another form installed on this page. All right, well, I don't, but anyways, it automatically just embedded that uh, code inside here. This was the code that embedded inside my page here. But if you did wanna, if you were on here and you wanna add a form, you could just go add a form, and then I select my form and go to add form, and it adds it right in here, okay? And actually, it was a different form I had in there previously, but there's my form now. I'm just gonna go to update. And then let's go ahead and go to view page. All right, so it has my first and last name here, then it has the email address here, split down the middle there, and then you can see this one has the phone on this side, the drop down on this side. All right, the multiple choices are there. All right, now we're back in the back end of the form, and now I wanna show you a few other things dealing with uh, the WP Forms plugin here, because this is a nice plugin. Like I said, you saw what we just did there, that form looks really nice. If you style it, uh, stylized it some more, it'd be even better. But you can go to settings back here. And if you want this to be like a user registration form, you can add that on right here. You can just go add on the webhooks. But you can see all these different one, different um, plugins we already have added on here, okay? And they're all right back here. Here's the confirmation. So when somebody submits the form, if you want them to show a page, if you want them to go to a URL, if you want them to go somewhere, you can uh, do that right here. All right, the notifications. So this is basically what you're gonna get in your email whenever. So the notifications, this is basically what you're gonna get in your email. Whenever somebody fills out a form, they're gonna send you a notification. This is where they're gonna send it to your admin email. If you just want, if you want a different email, you can just put your email address right in there. All right, then the, just the general, if you wanted to um, change the submit button, you can do that. All right, and then after they uh, submit it, they just says sending. Go ahead and go to the marketing tab. All right, and this is where you can do your integrations here, and then you just add your account, and it should ask you for your API key and account name. And once you add in there, your options will come up. All right, payments, if you want to add the Stripe, they're right back here. And again, just click to install there. And that's the fields and then the setup. We're back to the same part here. All right, and one other thing that I meant to go over, but uh, it does save the entries to the back end. So once somebody enters their information in the form and hits complete, um, it has your um, entries here in the back end that you can just go and click on the form name there and uh, check out the entries for that particular form there. So I, I meant to mention that before. Hey guys, just realized I didn't go over the signature or the Linkert scale. I wanted to go over those with you and I just wanted to go over the rating with you. So let's go ahead and check those out. Okay, of course you got the um, the signature and we'll preview that on the other side in just a moment. Okay, so you can click on that. Let's see what the options are. Okay, you can change the size of the field. You can have the label, you can do the ink color right there. Then you can eat, there's the layouts. All right, now let's go back to the fields and go to the linkert scale these ones are pretty cool all right so there's that one and let's go to the rating and we'll also put a net promoter score there to kind of see what that is and what that does okay there's the rating system and the net promoter so let's go ahead and save this and then let's see here yeah and then oh there i forgot to mention also that there is the um um if we go to payments here and let's go ahead and just install the um, PayPal. All right, that is installed. Now we will activate and refresh. All right, so now over here, all we need to do is put our PayPal uh, email address right there. And you can select those other things you want payment type. All right, and then 
if you go to your fields, now you should see a, uh, well, there's going to be a total item. I'll actually move this down the field a little bit. Move this down. All right, now if we wanted to set a product here, and if you do a product, single item, okay? Single item, let's go ahead and click that, and this is going to be single item, and this will be required, not the item, so to speak. But the advanced options, do it in a large field, but that's not what I'm looking for. All right, here, item price, okay? So this is where you set your price. All right, and let's go to save. Just go down here and not require this. I don't know what that means, but go to save. Right, and now let's go to our form and hit refresh. All right, and there is our uh, net promoter score. And again, you can change these titles, okay? Here's our rating system. Here's our Likert scale, okay? This is pretty cool. These are pretty cool features that not all the form plugins have. So, I mean, this is something for WP Forms. You know, if you're looking for stuff like this, they definitely have it. So, um, and then here's our item, our total. Okay, and then you go, we're Mike. All right, so this is, um, it's a pretty cool little plugin right here. So I want to show you guys the signature. Let's go ahead and check out the signature before I forget. And there it is. All righty. So that's basically a rundown of WP Forms. Let's go ahead and go to the pricing of the WP Forms, okay? And 50% off for a limited time left. Now, here's the deal I have is the Pro, and the reason I have this is for the PayPal, the Stripe, mainly, because so I can accept those payments. The Zapier is a great add-on, too. Uh, the Signatures is really cool, as you just saw. Okay, the registration. Again, you know, these are like some of your uh, main plugins that you're going to be using if you're creating websites you know so for me the pro is the best deal but if, if you need these other few things you know if you're doing development you're gonna need webhooks if you're doing other stuff like you know for bigger companies authorized.net salesforce active campaign are popular popular with bigger companies and then if you need multi uh, site support as well i would go with the pro for myself if you don't need all those other things you know the the plus is great with the git response it ha does have the git response add-on so like i said overall this is a good plugin i'd recommend using it if you need a form plugin you know check out my other form plugin reviews as well but o overall wp forms i really like the plugin nice sleek interface a lot of different things that you can do and in integrations so uh like i said in my book it gets the stamp of approval so if you like this video go ahead hit the like button hit the subscribe button go ahead and if you want to get wp forms check out the link below it is an affiliate link but it would really help me out and i really appreciate it if you got some value out of this video so go ahead hit the like button hit the subscribe button check out some of my other videos go ahead check out my landing page videos they work really good with the wp forms all right guys i'll see y'all in the next one